What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we got some very exciting news on the movement regarding Scream 7 this morning. And I actually had a bit of information I was telling you guys this past Sunday confirmed by Bloody Disgusting, who has put out this article confirming that Scream 7 is officially in the works. While Scream 7 hasn't yet been officially announced by Paramount and Spyglass, we can confirm that it's definitely in the works. We've also been paying close attention to the recent rumors that Radio Silence's Matt Benelli Open and Tyler Gillette won't be back to direct Scream 6 and that Christopher Landon may take over. They go on to say, how true are those rumors? We're told Radio, Radio Silence was very interested in directing Scream 7, but unfortunately they've been busy with their upcoming Universal Monsters movie, which was recently filming under a shroud of secrecy. The mysterious project doesn't, doesn't yet have an official plot synopsis at the time, and it doesn't even have an official title. It's likely that with Radio Silence team focusing on their Universal movie, the scheduling ultimately just didn't work out for, their, for them to return for Scream 6 or Scream 7. They go on to say, as for the Christopher Landon rumors, Bloody Disgusting has heard that Landon has indeed been in talks to direct Scream 7 and will keep you posted as we learn more. So you see my point there, that Christopher Landon bit, that's the biggest thing I want to touch on because I know that over the weekend, Craven Something Scary came out and told you guys that Radio Silence would not be back. Now, I still, from my perspective, want to say that they haven't officially been announced as not being back as directors but i did get some clarity in my own video saying that if they were not to direct what i was told many months ago was that you can still expect them to be a part of the project as producers because they produced the last two but then i also gave clarity on the speculation from christopher landon's from the christopher landon scenario in my last screen video telling you guys that he flat out had been in talks or had been asked to direct scream 7 all of that, again, was subject to change. That's why I stated that at the time. It did not mean that the rumors wouldn't have been true if Christopher Landon had not nailed the grab or nailed the job to direct Scream 7. But Bloody Disgusting is validating what I had stated in my last video. He has been asked or he's now in talks or has been in talks to direct Scream 7. Whether or not he will be the one to direct it, we'll have to wait and see. It still is not confirmed 100% that Radio Silence is not directing Scream 7 or that Christopher Landon, for that matter, will be directing Scream 7. But Radio Silence, again, they've been telling us without telling us that they would love to see someone else take over the franchise if they are not able to direct because they just seem like people who are not wanting to be locked into this ip and i can understand and respect that you have to keep in mind screen 5 was never intended to launch a trilogy so what you did have though was a talented group of people who had an opportunity to make another entry in a franchise that they love and adore and that was screen 5 or at least that's what it was intended to be then they came back luckily for scream 6 and i would say they outdid themselves from a directorial perspective for scream 6 all in all they didn't have to give a scream 6 they didn't even have to give a Scream 5. The fact that they were fans of the franchise spoke for itself to me. They were just glad they had an opportunity to play in the sandbox of the Scream world. And I think they've done a fine job on both outings. Scream 6 being better than 5 in my opinion. However, going forward into Scream 7, if for whatever reason, they simply not only do the scheduling issues, but just simply don't want to direct any more Scream movies, they don't have to. They're not obligated to. I also will continue on to just say that the other current rumors, just in case these become true that I've heard, are the fact that one, everyone will be back except Matt and Tyler. That's what I stated on Sunday. So that everyone, from what I was able to have clarity on, would be our writers. So the writers would be the same. Courtney Cox, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jasmine Brown, Mason Gooding, Josh Segura, and Hayden Pantier. But at the, at the time, also, that everyone did not include Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell being back is still a possibility. And it does not mean that they do not want her back. But again, you can't force people to participate in projects. You just simply cannot do that. I think a lot of you understand that, but a lot of people seem to forget that is what I'm getting at. So in terms of Scream 7, if Christopher Landon is the one directing it, I don't have a problem with that. I do, however, think that it would feel entirely like it's in a new world. I don't think Christopher Landon is a bad director by any means. That's not my issue. I do know that similar to how many people think that when they sit down and look at Scream 3, even though Wes Craven is still directing it, 
they know it's not from the brain of Kevin Williamson and they can feel it oozing for, through the screen. S now, with the director changing, because this is leading into the Scream 3 territory, it's, Scream 7 is literally falling into the Scream 3 playbook. If you have a different director this time, but the same writer, I think a different director will immediately stand out more profoundly than writers. So I think that's what a lot of people are concerned about. They're concerned about Christopher Landon's style not meshing well with the Scream universe. I just think that if anything, Christopher Landon needs to lean more on the terrifying aspects. I think he does a competent job balancing horror and comedy, but that campiness that I know you could argue is present in Scream 3, maybe a little bit in Scream 4. I just think his style is a little bit further into comedic as opposed to what you actually have in the Scream franchise, which again does lean on comedy at times. I think he needs to lean more on the horror aspects of it all, try to build suspense a little better, try to build that tension and keep the dread always present and just give you those feelings of terror that you can always get in the Scream franchise is just as much as it can make you laugh. Don't make me laugh so much that I forget that the situation we're in is very dangerous. That's all I'm asking for out of Christopher Landon if he is the person who secures the role. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about Christopher Landon possibly directing Scream 7 down in the comment section below. What do you think about Radio Silence again possibly not being back? What do you also think about us now officially having a reputable outlet backing up what a lot of people have been saying, myself included, that Scream 7 is officially in the works? But again, everybody is aware of this. It's the it's not that Scream 7 was never in the works. It's the fact that things have it on pause. A lot of stuff is up in the air. That's why it's still not safe for me to say anyway, from what I've been told. It's not safe for me to say that Radio Silence will not be back to direct and that Christopher Landon is back or that Christopher Landon is replacing them to direct. Only thing that was confirmed was that Christopher Landon was asked and that Radio Silence potentially will not be back because a reputable outlet and other outlets are now picking up on it. But again, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I know we're all excited about Screen 7 actually being acknowledged officially as being in the works. Let me know what you think down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the descriptions, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And keep in mind, the other rumor is that Paramount wants to have it shooting as soon as they can once all of these strikes are over. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.